Hey everybody, here we have another parts system. It's another e machine. Got this one for 10 bucks, and not even sure what's wrong with it yet. It may be the typical issue that goes along with these computers. Power supply takes out the motherboard. It's just a matter of trying it out and seeing what's wrong. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power supply out and have, an, have a look inside of it, see if there's any blown capacitors or anything in it. And then we'll test the motherboard. And of course, this is a typical Best Tech ATX 250 12E power supply. Here's a close-up of the specs on the unit. Pause there, read the specs. Okay. I don't hear anything loose and falling around in it, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on. If there's anything wrong with it. Alrighty, now I have the cover removed from the power supply. Let's have a look inside. Look at the 5 volt standby rail area. Everything looks okay. I mean, the, you can tell the PCB has been a little bit hot in a couple of areas. I mean, this power supply doesn't have a very good design at all. I made, I've already made several videos about it as it is. Now, apparently, this one hasn't got bad enough to the point where it is made, where it's mass destructed itself. Okay, I got the cover back on this power supply, and this Best Tech power supply shows a prime example of the problems that they have, particularly with the 25012E lineup with the faulty file standby rail that runs high. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power supply. It's not going to be turned on, but you'll be able to see the standby voltage as I got everything hooked up. I got my multimeter hooked up to the purple wire, which is the 5 volt standby side. Have a look here. I'm going to plug it in now. 12 volts, 11 volts, 10 volts, 9 volts, 8 volts, 8 volts. This is bad. So we know the motherboard that this machine come out of is in trouble. We're still above 7 volts. 7.5. This here is a prime example of why e-machines across the world had this randomly died. With their motherboards being dead along with the power supply. And I imagine this power supply would probably function just fine. We're still at 7.3 volts. 7.27. Keep in mind, it's supposed to be 5 volts on this rail. This is your motherboard's chips that would, that would be getting toasted right now. This is very bad. Very, very bad. Earlier I tested it and it was still registering about seven volts. I thought that was hot to upload in just now. This is bad. Very, very bad. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the unit. This, I tell you, is very bad. Like I say, this is why the Best Tech ATX 25012E power supply is a motherboard killer. You saw it for yourself on the multimeter. 12 volts from the 5 volt standby rail. Very, very bad. 
Okay, now I'm testing the voltage of the 5 volt standby rail on a Bestech ATX 25012Z power supply. And we're getting a rock solid 4.95 volts. Much better than the 12E version that was putting out 12 volts to 7 volts. Okay, here is my testing power supply. You notice it looks just like that one behind it because it's the same case as what's in the Best Tech. The power supply that's inside of this case, it was a Dynapower USA unit, and that power 500 watt unit, that had that was missing some filtering components. I installed those filtering components, such as the coils and white capacitors, and I installed it into this case. So anyways, while it looks the same, it's actually not the same. Let's go ahead and test the 5 volt standby rail on this unit, This to give you an idea of what it should be. Okay, I got this power supply plugged in, and we're getting a reasonable 5.1 volts. This is within the tolerance. It jumps between 5.1 and 5.09. This is highly acceptable compared to that, running at 12 volts to 7 volts, killing motherboards. Okay, I got this power supply installed, and as usual, the motherboard will no longer work. We do have a green light, though, on the top here indicating that it's getting 5 volt standby voltage. But I can, I can press the power button all I want, and it will not turn on. These Intel D845GVSR motherboards will do this when the best tech fries them. So this motherboard is toast. Just like the rest of those over there. Those two socket 939 boards are ex ex um, exempted from this because they weren't killed by the 250 watt best tech power supply. Rather, their chipsets overheated. But the rest of those all the way up to that picture and down there toward that pillar are all motherboards that came out of the e-machines with the best tech 250 watt power supply. And I've only kept a certain amount of them from parts machines. This comes to show. This is really sad. But anyways, now is another prime example of the problems with that power supply, the best tech ATX 2012E power supply. If you have an e-machine that still has this power supply, the best thing I can say is replace it very quick or do not turn off your computer. Because when these power supplies are actually running, all the rails are running, they actually stay within the, to the tolerance for the 5 volt standby rail. It's when they are turned off and they're plugged in that they shoot up to about 12 volts, 7 volts. So, for any machine users out there that have these power supplies that keep their computers on, it'd be no surprise if their computers still work. But for those who decide to cut their computers off every night or leave them off for an extended amount of time, that explains why their computers fry. Any questions or comments? Let me know.